What's going on everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I believe this is the season finale. Before I even get to this, um, I think uh, one of my personalities, uh, tea spilling, you know, that ego of mine, this motherfucker took over my damn training topics earlier today. I don't know how the fuck to feel about that. So, y'all guys, if y'all want to go see what the fuck he said, y'all go check that shit out, but... I'm, I'm going to have to deal with him uh, at, at a later time, you know. Uh, Y'all don't need to see me arguing with myself. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's cool. Okay, I don't think that's cool. But <laughs> you have a uh, fake trust. She is um, planning a holiday party uh, with Dwight. We've seen Dwight on here many times. And, you know, he's been the one to, you know, kind of, I guess, help her with a lot of her party. So no issues there. Uh, she says, now, uh, Horsha comes over. Y'all know I don't see it for her, but she looked very fucking beautiful with what she wore. I was like, all right, okay. Like I said, I mean, it it, it had just that right amount of elegance with a little bit of, it, it was nice. I, I really enjoyed seeing her. Um, and they get the talking, and, you know, uh, Fake Trip brings up that she was dancing with Chris because she wants to do, like, a dance number at the uh, holiday party. And... Horsha begins to, you know, throw some shade, you know, Chris Way, you know, I guess someone saying how he going to be fabulous or some shit like that. I forget exactly what it was because, you know, I, I did not write it down, but she threw some shade. If y'all think she didn't, just let me know down below. And, you know, she, and when I say she, um, she, uh, la, 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 la. Uh, Horsha brings up to, um, to Phaedra that you know the feds then came to Candy's house and it was it's uh she even spilled tea that um Apollo left some stuff at um Cynthia and um Peter's house I'm like oh it's one of those ways like y'all can talk about it but why 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 would y'all say this on camera I don't know but um, you have Todd and Kenny. They're going to visit uh, Todd's uh, mother's uh, Sharon, her grave. You know, it was a nice scene to see. They kind of show, you know, how Mama Joyce was before, where they're at now. We all know that she had the baby. If y'all haven't seen, um, I haven't, like, I, I, Candy's body is good, okay? So she didn't slim down some. I am hoping, I am really, really hoping that, um, you know, she keeps the body under control, okay? Now that you had the baby, you no longer eating for two, Miss Candy. You know I like you, Candace, but I'm gonna need for you not to be eating like you're eating for two. So we have Matt and Kenya. Um, Matt decides to surprise Kenya with uh, two puppies. And if you guys remember, I think it was last season, if I'm not mistaken, um, that um, she lost um, her dog. I, it might have been the season before, but she took it very, very hard, so... You know, that's him uh, performing a nice gesture. And I really enjoy the chemistry. Like, I really do think that this is going to work. And you never know. We might hear at the reunion that she's pregnant. Which, if that's the case, like I said, I can only hope and pray that, you know, she has a safe and healthy uh, pregnancy. Um, Kenya brings up the fact that... uh. She got invited to uh, Phaedra's party. Not sure she wants to go, but she thinks she's going to dress up. And I'm sitting here like, man, it's a Kenya. But I'm going to be here for the shit. But, but she's happy that she's not in the middle of the drama. But she brings up the uh, feds going to Candy's house. And even saying that the blogs had mentioned that uh, she sent the feds to Candy's house. So, I don't know. But we're going to see how this shit plays out, y'all. And, um... You have Cynthia saying that she is now back to being sexually attracted to uh, Peter and decides that she's going to um, give him a massage. So be his masseuse. And Peter's being extra and whatnot. You know, I really do think that they're giving us a uh, major TV moment because they could have stopped this a long time ago. But, you know, it is what it is. And then who decides to walk in? <laughs> Noel, uh, Cynthia thought thought Noel left with her father a uh, hour ago, and I don't think Leon walked in. But yeah, yeah, very fucking embarrassing, y'all. Very embarrassing. But again, the shit funny. Here for it. All right. So the only thing that I really think is even important is uh, 
and I'll be nice right here. Portia and her sister Lauren goes, uh, she's going to check on her, I don't want to say fertility, but just to, I guess, check on her, um, fibroids, because she had fibroids before, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that led to a, uh, miscarriage. So she had surgery once before and she's trying to see if everything is good because she, you know, was kind of looking at it and just seeing how, okay, well, my sister's pregnant, my friend is pregnant, you feel me? So what do I need to do to, you know, how to get this thing back on track? Well, you know, she finds out that, well, you do in fact have uh, fibroids again, but the difference is the first time like, they were big. Because she was saying if she had it a second time that it would hurt her and she probably would not be able to um, have a child. But because these fibroids are like very, uh, I guess we could say minuscule, that um, this surgery should not affect her chances of having children. So, you know, that's good. And, you know, I mean, even though I, I y'all know I don't see it for certain people, but, you know, I want everybody to be happy, especially if it's never at the expense of anybody else. So, you know, hopefully... Um, that will work for our uh, Porsche Williams. Right quick, I have not seen Alvin and the Chipmunks uh, road chip, but that shit looked like it was funny. I'm gonna have to watch that. Like that really brought a smile to my face. All right, cause you know that she's gonna come right. All right, whatever. Anyway, so we're at the Christmas party right now. You have Aiden, you know, being all pouty face, and I'm pretty sure he was told by his mother it before they got there, give every fucking uh, lady a piece of coal. So it is what it is. Um, so people came in dressed as characters, okay? Uh, Shamia and her uh, horse, she gave us tata delicious. You know, I would do the whole ho 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 that that's tired, that's play, but they gave us tata delicious, tata delicious. That bitch over there is tata delicious. She don't do this, yeah, yeah, that's that's what they, yeah, mm. okay. Um, I will say it was somewhat, at first I'm like, okay, it's nice that Nene and Dwight, they're going to sit here, bury the hatchet, you know, just kind of reconvene, it didn't really turn out that way, because in the confessionals, of course, Lanithia does what she does best, and shades him saying, oh, he has a no job, so now he can breathe, um, I'm going to have to ask you to not be talking about anybody's nose when you know already had a motherfucking nose job, but, you know, I digress, <clears throat> I'm being nice today, you know, but yeah, that shit's not cool. But again, it's neat, neat. And I'm saving all my energy for the re for the reunion because I saw the previews for that shit. That shit gonna be good. That shit is gonna be good, y'all. And they just did a cutaway with um Tammy, Bob, and Sheree talking about um I guess if Bob ever uh, smashed her. So we're gonna see what his answer to that question is. <clears throat> I don't know if I, yeah, I don't think I talk about, if I did, y'all, y'all charged to my head, not my mind. Charged to my head, not my heart. Y'all know what the fuck that shit is. <laughs> yeah, y'all trying to say some shit, I can't even get the fuck out, but if I didn't already talk about it, uh, what's that boy name, uh, Bob is sweating profusely, and said, I never had sexual relations with that woman, and look at, well, actually, before he said that, uh, Tammy was just like, you know, don't look at me with that bad eye, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> shit's fucking hilarious for real, for real. Um, Patricia decides to ask Ty about the money situation. Now I don't know. It's one of those where you can kind of see that. Okay, of course they're sitting here bringing all this together. So I'm, I truly do believe that production probably said like y'all need to come to you know y'all need to like kill this shit, but. Because that guy brought up, he was like, I only got half of it, but you know what? I'm done with the motherfucking situation. Candy and Nene, they appear to have kissed and made up, so I think they're just going to be cordial at this point. So, that's and that's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Kenya brings up the fact that the fans have been at Candy's house. She's like, well, shit, they came to mind, too. Phaedra walks up, and she's like, what y'all talking about? And Kenya's like, well, we talking about this. And, you know, she's like, oh, Interesting. Yes, very, very interesting. Not to mention you had Cynthia, not Cynthia, um, Phaedra and Kim and Kim Print, you know, them just like where they were, how one helped the other, that whole thing. So you can truly see that they're that they're trying to um like just kind of patch everything up, all the loose holes and whatnot. 
and getting us set for next week. So, well, we got five minutes left. Let's see how this goes. And uh, it pretty much ends with, uh, you know, they bringing up the whole Feds thing. Shit got a little too hot for our favorite train. She had to end stage stuff. Everybody, did, well, the whole wrap ups and everything happened. And that's pretty much it. But it looks like this reunion is going to be good. I'm, I'm I feeling my spirit is going to be a three parter. So we're going to see how this all plays itself out. Hopefully, I don't go down under. But if I do, I always have to come back and give it to y'all the best way that I can. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review for the season finale of Nexus Potomac. And. Yeah, that's all I got for tonight. So y'all rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see all of you all tomorrow. Wait, I don't think anything. Wait, does anything come on? Yes. Yeah, so if anything, I'll give you a video tomorrow. If I don't do a review, then you'll get the trending topic. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>